going to show you how to set up Waste, which is a secure communication and file sharing application, uh, client and server all in one. Yeah, it's cool for hosting a darknet, which is pretty much what torrents are, except with security. It's not just open. I don't know. That's pretty much all I have to say. You can look at uh, the Wikipedia uh, article on the darknet. <coughs> if you care. It's really cool, so you should probably research it. Uh, anyways, to start off, we would search waste in Google. Uh, first one is a merchandise website. We really don't need that. The second is waste. We, uh, anonymous, secure, encrypted sharing. This is the one we want. Uh, just click download to the top. Okay, uh, scrolling down, we have a couple different versions. Client server for Mac OS X, no, we want the for one Win32. So click download on the right. Okay, five different versions. You want the one that says full English, the rest, no, unless you speak Swedish, German, or French, or want the mini one. I have no idea what the mini one is. You should just take the full. That's what I do. Okay, uh, save file, open, okay. Okay, so, yeah, this is a way setup. Agree. Don't really need to change stuff, you can if you want, uh, get rid of the documentation. Honestly, I don't find it helps that much, but, uh, I don't know. You can just look online for help if you, if this video doesn't help you enough. Uh, yeah, it's fine. Okay, so I ask you to move the mouse around in the window until the bar is completely full, so let's do that a little. Okay, uh, nickname, that's what other people will see automatically, uh, so we'll just put test. Real name, you don't really have to put your real name, but if someone right clicks and says get info, then that's what they'll see. So we test name. Okay, connection speed, it's nice to have it fast, but you don't want it sucking out all of your traffic. I don't know. Network ID, um, this is pretty useless. Uh, if you have a network, I suppose if you have more than one server at the same computer, then I guess that might be useful. I really don't know. If you don't, which most people don't, uh, then just leave it blank. It, if someone's stupid and puts a space at the beginning or something, then it won't work. It won't connect you. So just leave it blank. Uh, this is incredibly important. Um, so to import a public key, you have to make the key generator. But you can do it autumn anyways, but uh, you need to run the key generator. So type in a passphrase. Uh, you want it to be pretty long or else, you know, the whole security is compromised. Uh, test password. Yeah, no, that's not really long, I know, but uh, I normally leave mine around 30 characters, just to keep it like that. You probably don't want to go anything above or below the 1536 bits. That just sounds good. Yeah, hit generate, move the mouse around, and it says take as long as three minutes. It should take uh, between five and ten seconds. Thirteen seconds. Okay, that's a little bit slower. Anyways, uh, so it says here key signature that. You don't want to copy that. That's your private key, I believe. You want to copy the public key. So click that button and we can see that completely different than this one here. Waste public key test whatnot. So now you get all your friends to do that and then they paste it in an email or send you this uh, text file with it in a uh, notepad or something. And uh, so to show you how you would import it, I'm going to save mine as my key.txt. Uh, and then we will import the key, mykey.txt. Imported one key successfully. Okay, so that's pretty much how you do it. 
download path. This is when you download files from other users. Uh, I don't know. Pretty much just leave it blank unless you want to change it. Uh, you can add paths eventually later, but uh, if you want to add one now, say you want to share your whole C colon drive, which is stupid, but some people do that, you can do that. I, I'll just leave it blank. Okay, two windows popped up here, over here. Okay, the first one is the main window, uh, file view, network status, browser, and chat. Um, this one opens up this window, so we'll start with this one. Um, you would type in the IP of your main server here. Uh, so say it's localhost. There, see, I'm connected to myself. Um, obviously that doesn't really help me much because file transfers don't matter, whatever. But uh here maintain connections uh this is useful if you have a couple different servers you want to connect to but you don't want to type in their ip every time uh so you probably want to leave it no more than 20 i don't know anyways uh okay so some buttons here disconnect and delete i believe yes remove the local host uh okay so that's pretty much that you can close that window File browser, uh, if I was connected to someone other than myself, names will pop up here. You can double click them and find other folders that you want to download and stuff, whatnot. Um, right click to download a folder and click download, um, or you can just double click on a file and it will download it. Uh, you can also view transfers and see download, download queue, and uploads. Nice window there to have. Uh, chat chat uh kind of like irc less commands so there's only like eight or something but whatever uh let's see yeah five six seven eight nine oh, yeah nine commands uh it's nice i don't know it's all text-based no emotes or anything fancy but it works and it's pretty fast for secure uh that's pretty much it i'll go through preferences um network you can change the port it listens on your connection speed that you did at the beginning uh limit connections whatnot uh if you didn't import the keys in the main setup you can click here public keys and hit add and then find the dot pub or dot txt file with the public key in it uh sending uh, this is important too. You can add files or directories to scan. Like, I don't know. Uh, well, we'll just be waste. So, one file, mykey.txt, if we remember that. It's here. Anyways, um, that's pretty much it. You can say rescan it every minute, or I like to, like to leave it at five so it doesn't slow down my computer completely. But that's pretty much it. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Enjoy it. It's really fun, and it's really cool. And I don't know. Welcome to the world of darkness.